I don't think we were relaxed, but I think that when you, all the things you're talking about are the reasons why you can be bullish, because markets don't peak when everybody is concerned about different issues. And when you think about them individually, how big is Turkey? It's smaller than Greece, smaller than Italy. It's not going to really affect world economics. What you do have is a big worldwide economic expansion that still has legs. And because of that, I think you don't have to be that negative. And so you're bullish U.S. stocks or bullish worldwide stocks? Or? Bullish U.S. stocks. I'd say that what Turkey does show you is that there's a lot of highly debt-ridden emerging markets, and I'd avoid those. And I'd also look at what the contagion could be, who's lending that money to those countries. I didn't, you know, you're not always here. I didn't know this about you, yeah. that, that you, you're bearish. I, I think I'm generally bearish. Okay. Yeah. It, when, it, it, as of? Oh, God. You don't want to know what's in my portfolio. <laughs> no, no, but at, when did you? Okay, I'm just, I'm just like trying to get 1998? it. 1998. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just saying your perspective is generally skeptical. Uh, yes, exactly. But you I've seen haven't, all of these things. But like, no, no, and oh, this in, is a sign. No, no, but in the last here. month, in the mm -hmm. last six months, when did we're at 2821 now on the S and P? When did you get Bitcoin going to 20,000? Was like. But it didn't go there. Okay, when was that? That was in December. Okay, so we'll mark you down for, for December. Yeah. For being there. Okay. Okay. Just want to remember. So, Yurian, you heard Mr. Plum. That's just all my worries are just that wall of worry that the market climbs and gets to new highs. What do you think? Well, so <clears throat> the market did peak in January, and that was very shortly after, after Bitcoin did reach 20,000. Um, and the market has been going through a, a valuation correction. You know, the P ratio is down some three points while the S&P has gone sideways. But this has been a tale of two markets. You know, the EM index is down 18 percent in six months, while the S&P is basically flat, down 1 percent. That is a performance gap that you don't see very often, uh, at least over such a short period of time. But ultimately, bull markets end <clears throat> because inflation becomes a problem. That forces the Fed to over-tighten. And we are approaching that sort of twilight zone of the late cycle where the Fed's now raised rates seven times. It's causing the dollar to go up, financial conditions to tighten. Uh, but because the U.S. has this huge earnings boom as an antidote to what otherwise would be a much more uh, bearish headwind, um, the, the S&P is just sort of trading sideways. But EM, other developed uh, non-U.S. markets, are, don't have that tax cut related earnings boom to fall back on. So they are feeling this much more. And that's why EM is down 18. The world index is down about six. And really the key question here is, you know, two and a half years ago when EM had a similar crisis, if you will, uh, maybe that's too, too, too big of a word, but when it was under pressure. Yeah, when it was under pressure two and a half years ago, driven by China and its capital flights, uh, you know, the, the Fed came in and basically said, sorry, you know, we're going to stop tightening for a while. And that kind of released the whole thing. The dollar came back down, right. financial conditions eased. The Fed is not in a position to do that right now because we're now two and a half years further into the cycle. Uh, you know, core CPI printed at 2.4 last so, week. So, Yuri, I'm going to cut you off. Strong. Bottom line me here. Do I buy U.S. stocks here as we sit here and see that? Or do, do you buy into that weakness in EM because there's value there as a result of the sell-off? Um, EM is starting to look very interesting, but I think it's too early. We really need to see um, whether capital controls are put in place or not. Hopefully they're not, because in if Turkey. they are, you could, get, you, could, you could get forced liquidations across EM. So that would be a really bad thing. It's not our default case at all. But is it safe to buy US? I, don't, I, um, I don't think the market's ready to break out yet, just because we are getting to that point where it really becomes important as to how far the Fed's going to go. I think 2019 will be a much more pivotal time for the market because by then earnings growth will be back down to trend of 7% growth. The PE okay. probably will be at around 15, which is attractive, and the Fed hopefully will be closer to being done. And I think that's, that's a better time to get the all clear. 